in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about contacts and how they're managed. And it doesn't matter what platform you come from. It's vital to understand how this works. So this specific video is just a brief summary or overview. And the next several videos are going to be different aspects of using the contact management system for emailing, text messaging, or whatever else it may be that you do with contacts. And so uh, stay tuned. Now, as we look at this, I want you to note on the left panel of the system, you'll see the word contacts. It doesn't matter which platform of ours you're using. It's already to be brown, green, orange, and even blue, as you see on the screen. It doesn't matter which of our platforms, they all function the same way. So when you get over to the contacts, a lot of things can be done with that. We're going to take a really good look, but in summary, I want you to know just about navigation in this video. So you can get to all the contacts right here. And when you do now, even though I have these blurred out, there are a ton of contacts in here that you'd be able to see. And then you can go to different things. You can create smart lists. Maybe you email text message or send to social media, a specific set of contacts who are part of an elite group that you deal with, or maybe they are code leads, or maybe these are people that are already customers. You can create your own smart list. So the system knows whenever you want to communicate only with them. The other part is these bulk action with the bulk action, you get determined to do all of the specific actions for this one group. And you'll learn more about this to restore and Maybe you want to restore the information about that contact to a previous date because you may have either deleted them or done something what you need to restore the way it used to be. You can take an add task related to a contact. With a contact, you can assign any one of your team, any person that's a part of your group to maybe have an appointment with that person or things related to that specific contact. And maybe you say, call them at three o'clock on Friday to see if they're ready. You can give yourself an assignment inside of tasks. Then you can learn more about their company and always have that data. And you'll have information as much as you can collect, the more we can do with it. Then when it comes to the smart list, I showed you the very far left, you can start managing those lists and all the really neat things you want to do with them. So that's how that's done. Now, as you look at the top of this screen here in time contact, I can add a contact by creating a click on the plus sign. I can actually have what's called a pipeline change. You're going to learn about that when I get to pipelines. But one of my favorite features when doing contacts is I can add any contact to an automation that's already set up. I can take one contact that I just met and I can add an automation to them that will communicate with them all year long via email, social media, SMS, text, and that type of thing. I can send them an SMS individually just by clicking on it, or I can send them an email just by clicking on it. I can add a tag, meaning if I select one of these, let's say one of my test accounts, I can add a tag that means this client, I met them at the conference, whatever I want to put on there. That's the parent, that's the husband, that's the wife. I may put whatever details I want, or I can remove a tag once added. I can delete the entire contact. I can actually send them an opportunity to give me a review. I can even export that contact so I could download it and upload it somewhere else. And then of course I can import contacts. So there's a lot you could do here. I might want to do an email verification to make sure that email is not fake. What happens is if you send a lot of email messages to people and that's a fake email address, you're going to get fined eventually for doing that. You are responsible for verifying if someone actually has a real email address. It's not the person's fault for putting out a fake one in. It's your fault for emailing them and not checking it. Our system has a way of verifying and you can do that. And we're going to cover that in a little bit, but um, what else is there? If you can add or edit their company, if you just learned a week after you met them that they're a part of a certain company, you could add that here. And then you can merge that contact if you have two or three versions of them. There's ways of filtering and changing things around. When you add tags, they end up on the right, but we'll cover that in another video. I never got over to the settings. When you cover the settings here, you can go to the settings and you can do, look at everything that's been done. You can look at your folders and also deleted fields that were a part of your contacts and things like that. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video about managing your contacts.